Welcome to Blind Abilities. Here's our teen correspondent, Simon Bonifant. Hello, everyone. On Blind Abilities, this is Simon Bonifant reporting from Las Vegas, Nevada at the 2019 National Federation of the Blind National Convention. And I'm in the exhibit hall today, and I'm at the Amazon area here. And I got a chance to talk to Peter Korn. How's it going, Peter? It's going very well. It's wonderful to be here at the NFB convention in Las Vegas. That's great. Can you explain uh, to the listeners your title and a little bit about what you do at Amazon? Sure. So this is my sixth year with Amazon. I'm the director of accessibility for all of our devices. And this is my 28th year in the field of accessibility, having cut my teeth on the outspoken screen reader for Macintosh and Windows back in the mid-90s. Wow. So you have a lot of good accessibility knowledge. That's great. But what kind of features does Amazon offer for accessibility? Well, so every device that we make has a host of accessibility features built in. We're standing right now in front of a Toshiba television, but this isn't just any Toshiba television. This is the Amazon Fire TV Edition television and so it's got all of our fire tv technology built into it that means it has the voice view screen reader built in it has our magnifier built in it has alexa built in and being a streaming television it also means that i can stream prime video and we have nearly 600 prime video titles with audio description that includes every Amazon original title that we make, plus many things from Warner Brothers and so on. You can also watch Netflix or Hulu or Showtime or HBO on this television, and it's a television. So you can plug in an antenna and you can get over the air broadcast TV, and if you're in one of the 60 major metropolitan areas, you can even get one of the few hours of audio described broadcast TV and enjoy that with description on this television. This is the 50 inch model. We have 20 different models starting at 24 inches in an HD screen for 150 bucks, all the way up to a 55 inch 4K Ultra HD Dolby Vision model for $450. Ah, very cool. And you have some Alexa-enabled devices as well. If we come around this way, the newest of our Echo devices. So this is the new Echo Show 5. And the Show 5 is one of our Echo devices with a screen. It's a five-inch diagonal screen. It's got Amazon Alexa in it. Everything you can do with any other Alexa device you can do with this one. Plus, if you want, you know, you're, you're sighted, you like the idea of having a, a little clock by your nightstand, this is the perfect size to display a nice big clock. It has a screen, which means it has voice view. And it has our magnifier, because we don't make screens and expect that people can use them if they don't have a screen reader on them. So I accidentally unplugged it as I pulled it forward. It's plugged back in and it's finishing booting up. And it finished booting up and that's the voice view turning on sound that we just heard. Oh, very nice. It's still finishing its, its boot up here. And once it's finished booting up, I'm going to uh, ask it to do some stuff. So um, I also have right next to it... Voice view ready. The Amazon. 8 p.m. Uh, yes, dear. I have the Amazon Basics Alexa enabled microwave. Yeah, Alexa. I saw that yesterday. That was pretty cool. Yeah, you can talk about a little about that for us. Yeah, so this $59.99 microwave uh, will pair with Alexa, and I can use my voice to cook. So I'm gonna take this little bag of Skinny Girl popcorn, pop it into the microwave and then say, Alexa, privacy. microwave one ounce of popcorn. Starting popcorn, one minute, eight seconds. And wow. 
And, and in a little I can, under a minute, we're going to have some hot buttered popcorn. I can kind of hear it and I can kind of smell it too. It's kind of <laughs> cooking, you know. It is. Wow, so, that is really neat. Yep. Some of the newer, well, for, for many years now, microwaves have had the ability to do fairly complex things like defrost a pound and a half of chicken. I do this many minutes at this low power setting and then bring up the power for a few more minutes and bring up the power again for the last few minutes, right? That little programming there. But typing all of that in on the touch panel is really difficult. But you can just use your voice. Right, and Alexa figures out the settings and the, the modes it needs. You know? Exactly. So you can reheat your, your dinner, you can pop popcorn, you can say this much uh, ground beef to defrost. And it does it. Wow. And it just does it. And it's really cool. Well, and there it is. There's my popcorn. Look at that. <laughs> and, uh, wow. That's really cool. Just, uh, open it up here. It's nice and It, it is. Clean. Wow. I can feel that. <laughs> and I smell it too. Uh, wow. That's that's cool. Uh, reach on, uh, I'll try a little bit. Reach on in. <laughs> wow. And there you go. Mm hmm. <laughs> I also noticed yesterday I was over here and you had some uh, tablets. Talk about them a little bit. So these are the Fire tablets. We've got the seven inch model for $49.99. Has voice view, has our magnifier, has large print. You can watch movies, you can read Kindle books, you can play audio books. And new this year, we have what's called hands-free Alexa, where there's a special chip in this tablet that allows it to be mostly asleep, but just quietly listening with a little bit of power for the wait word. And when you say it, she then responds. Oh, that's cool. And yeah. that's again, $49. It also has very powerful braille support oh, built wow. in. And we've, we've been doing a lot to make a very efficient Braille interface. You know, these Braille displays are are fairly expensive. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you pay, you know, maybe a few, maybe you know, seven hundred dollars for a twenty cell display. But mm -hmm. for the most part, they're into the thousands of dollars. Yep, that so is those true. Those cells are really precious. Yeah. So you don't want to waste a ton of space saying check box checked and then the name of the checkbox. That's already off the end of your 20 characters. Right, yep, yep. Right, so we use special non-character braille glyphs to tell you that it's a checked checkbox. We have- So it's not gonna take up cells? It's gonna take up three cells. Oh, okay. To say this- So is it's a lot less, wow. Exactly. Okay. That's great, so you're getting more braille for your space. You're yep. optimizing the space. Yep. Now, at the same Daniel time, you've, you've probably seen a lot of these tablets. You have a row of icons, right, on yep. the home screen. Yep. And you focus one icon at a time, and you put one icon's worth of text on the Braille display. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's Kindle, that's six letters, you still have another 14 characters on that display that you're not using. So we will create a line of multiple things on the same row. So the That's same weird. idea, we use as many of those precious cells as we can to make a more efficient interface. So at the bottom of the screen, you've got back, home, and app switcher. B-A-C-K space, H-O-M-E space, A-P-P, -P, and then the rest of it's off the end. Mm -hmm. And I've got touch cursors over each cell so when I navigate down to back home app switcher I can just touch the button over back or home and or, it'll do it and it'll do it I don't have to navigate through all three I'm more efficient I'm more yeah productive. that is wow so that's some of the innovation that's in voice view braille available on all three tablets starting at 49 bucks wow that's available right now. Available right now. You can go to the Amazon store in the sky from your browser, or from your iPhone, from your whatever, and order it. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much for coming by. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, that's all for me. That's uh, 
That's all for you. We're good. So thank you, Peter, for talking with me today. Thank you for talking to the listeners of the, the Blind Abilities podcast. And I'm very uh, grateful for the work that you're doing at Amazon. You're doing a lot of good work for for the community, the blindness community. And a lot of good things are coming because of your uh, vast knowledge of accessibility and uh, and your drive to, to make things work well. Appreciate it's, the work you it's do. It's just a, an utter pleasure to, to be in this field and to be at a company like Amazon that can have such a huge impact on the lives of our customers with disabilities. Thank you, Peter Korn, and thank you, Simon Bonifant. And be sure to check out all of our 2019 convention coverage right here on Blind Abilities. Enable the Blind Ability skill on your Amazon device just by saying, Enable Blind Abilities. And you can download the Blind Abilities podcast onto your Victor stream, onto any of your podcatchers of choice, Downcast, Overcast, the Apple Podcast app in your iDevice. Tune in radio, iHeartRadio. If you got Siri, you got Google, you got Amazon, then you got Blind Abilities. And most importantly, I want to thank you, the listener. I want to thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, bye-bye. When we share what we see through through each each other's other's eyes, eyes, we can then then begin begin to bridge the the gap between the the limited expectations and the reality reality of blind abilities. abilities. For more podcasts with a blindness perspective, check us out on the web at www.blindabilities.com. On Twitter at Blind Abilities. Download our app from the App Store, Blind Abilities, that's two words. Or send us an email at info at blindabilities.com. Thanks for listening.